Welcome to Toxic Ships Podcast, where my goal is to help you tap in and reveal the better self within. So, get settled and welcome to something like group therapy. Illegal sexual contact that usually involves force upon a person without consent or is inflicted upon a person who is incapable of giving consent. For example, as because of age or physical or mental incapacity, or who places the assailant, such as a doctor, in a place of trust or authority. This is Webster's definition of sexual assault. Good evening, and thank you so much for deciding to drop in and share your energy with me. I'm your host, Tiffany R. Today I'll be addressing a question from a TikTok friend. The question, were you sexually assaulted by your ex-husband? Now, when I was first asked this question, my response, of course, was no. But that was before I came across Webster's definition of sexual assault. Now, my ex was and still is a very narcissistic individual and controlled every aspect of my life, including saying no to sex. And I know some of you may sit and listen to this thinking to yourself, how can he stop you from saying no to sex? Well, honey, he's a narcissist. And when they don't get their way, all hell breaks loose. So basically to keep the household as peaceful as possible, I would lie there every day or night, sometimes both as he mounted me. His head would be tilted to the ceiling. He never made eye contact with me and his mouth would be contorted as if he was shape-shifting or something. My skin literally crossed just thinking about it. And this went on for most of my marriage, aside from a ton of other weird shit that he would do. Now, something he would often say to me was that marrying me saved him. Saved him from having to deal with multiple partners and prostitutes. <laughs> he often unknowingly told on himself. But that statement is the very reason I was not shocked when in an argument he yelled out that a wife is supposed to have sex whenever her husband acts, well demanded in this case. And towards the end, the negative energy just became thicker until I was no longer able to have sex with him. For most of my marriage, I was in constant pain, so that was my excuse when sex came up. And because of this, he constantly accused me of cheating even though I was never out of his sight. He wanted so badly to cause an argument once that he accused me of cheating because he found a tampon down the vent. Now, during this time, I had a younger baby that would throw things down the vent, one being an old tampon of mine, and I had stopped using them by this time, so that was a perfect excuse for him. I'm not sure if he thought I was cheating with a woman on her moon cycle or what, but that's just some of the crazy shit narcissists come up with in their mind. And later that night, while I was uncontrollably crying after asking for a divorce for maybe the third time by now, he approached me for a hug, but before he could even get his arms good enough around me, he had an erection that I have never experienced with him before. So hard that I literally had to push him the fuck away from me. And that was a big thing because I had never stood up to him before this. Now, in the past when I would cry, he would grab me by my chin to try to force me to look into his eyes. And I knew exactly why, which is why I never wanted to cry in front of him. Now, the last straw was me opening my eyes in the middle of the night to find him standing over me, but as naked, not pleasing himself or anything. But again, head slightly tilted, eyes to the sky, and so much of a daze that he hadn't even realized I was awake. That was the first time I had felt real fear for my life. Soon after that, I was able to escape, running back to St. Louis, Missouri, to family. But oh, was that a mistake. The life savings that I was able to sneak and hide from my financially controlling narcissistic ex, well, that was spent by my stepmother leaving me to start my new life in a condemned building with my children for an extended period of time. The only thing worse than realizing you've only attracted and dated narcissists is realizing that most, if not all, of your family are narcissists as well. Now, if you take anything from this, take an effect that I got out, and you definitely can too.
Well, folks, that is all of our time. I am grateful to all that tuned in tonight. I do pray that you were able to find an answer or even a glimmer of hope. Until next time, make it a great day. The choice is literally yours.